What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have more design ideas for you today. This time we are continuing the fall mini series, but we are getting into what I think is the best part of fall. Not the apple cider, not the leaves changing, but Halloween guys. And I've been anticipating this for months. I've literally been saving items, saving flowers for Halloween. So I'm very excited. I wanted to start first by uh, kind of answering a question that I get quite often, and that is, Pat, how the heck do you have so many uh, custom slots open? Now, here's my uh, little secret. Of course, I change with the seasons, uh, and to get a lot of these spots open, I've actually got rid of a lot of my summer ideas. So you will see my beaches are pretty on the bare side. Like, I don't have any uh, shell patterns. I don't have any seaweed patterns. It's all gone in favor for fall, and especially with winter coming in a couple months. Not not too fast. Calm down there, Pat. But winter's coming, and uh, you know the the beaches don't really deserve any love, right? I mean, we're on an island, but the weather's going to be changing, and uh, I don't know about you, but I am not swimming in that water. It's probably really cold right now. So with that being said, let's get to some Halloween design ideas. Uh, the first one is kind of a sneaky one. I've seen this uh, around quite a bit. Now this is my uh, my cauldron area. I've showed this off many times. This isn't the focus today, but I kind of just want to set the scene first. So we have the cauldron. We have all the miscellaneous ingredients, the mushrooms everywhere. But in the back, in the back is the focus today. And this is my very own cave. And you can make one too with just two easy payments of $19.90. I'm kidding, guys, okay? This is a dark, mysterious cave. And uh, it's super easy to make. If you have two items in this game, you too can make this. So there's two items that go with this. First of all, we have the stone arch, which uh, you can get at the nook stop. And it takes a bunch of stone to make, but completely worth it in my mind. I've customized it. So it is now the, uh, the mossy rock look, which I think is good, especially in the middle of the forest. And then in the back right here, we have two black simple panels. Of course, there you have the wooden ones, you have the white simple panels, the silver ones. These are the black trimmed simple panels. And all you do is you make a black custom design. Let's go here all the way down. We have the black custom design, which I named Void, by the way. I think it's very fitting. And you just customize the black simple panels to be completely black. You put two together, you push this stone arch all the way, and there you go. It is a perfect illusion to kind of, you know, you have a cave on your island. Now, if I look up here, this is the uh, the greatest shot because where I've kind of nestled this cave in my island is pretty much against the, the side of the cliffs. Now, if I uh, put the camera up, the illusion kind of goes away. You can clearly see the simple panels. However, when you go up like this, I think the uh, the cave illusion is pretty strong. And I wouldn't say that this is super Halloween-y, but to have a cool place on your island that's very mysterious and kind of can let the player's minds go, I think that's very cool. And it looks good from all angles too, except if you're really close up, all right? But I love the cave idea. Let me know what you guys think, especially near like a witch's area. I think that's super fitting. So uh, there you go, there's the cave idea. Okay, so as I'm walking to this next area, I just, I wanted to mention something because I know I might be getting a bunch of comments about this. Now, my idea of Halloween is traditional Halloween. You have the candy, the trick-or-treaters, the pumpkins, things like that. Now, I know a lot of you uh, disturbed people out there might be doing these uh, horror core islands or blood splattering everywhere. I got you guys, though. I got you, okay? I'm realistic. I, You know, we're family friendly, but I do have the, uh, the sickos out there. I got you covered. So here are just a couple creators, uh, creator codes with a bunch of these bloody patterns. And I know that a lot of you guys like using these. I figured I'd showcase this. This video is supposed to be every aspect of Halloween. We have the cave already. And now you guys have a couple creators with some pretty high quality blood patterns. Uh, there's help written out in blood. There's kind of like footsteps uh, and you can use them in very creative ways. I'm not going to demonstrate on this video how to you know use them properly, but pretty much put the pattern on the ground, put an item over it, becomes creepy instantly, okay? There you go. All right, so now we are at my orchard, which I showed off in the last uh, fall video. I love it. Looks a bit creepy at night, I'll give it that. Uh, the idea that we're going for today 
is located in the back. Now, you might see it pretty close up. It is a fruit bat. Now, I found this kind of, uh, you know, browsing the web here, and I don't really know how I feel about it, to be honest. I think I like it, okay? <laughs> but essentially, it is a bat hanging upside down, and the illusion is that it's hanging from a fruit tree. Unfortunately, this pattern doesn't work on a cedar tree or anything like that, but I think the illusion is cool enough to showcase in this video. So here's the pattern on the screen. The good part about this is that it doesn't take up any pattern space. It is a pro pattern, so it will take up your clothing space. I feel like I have to feature a lot more of these on the channel because everyone's pattern spaces are all taken up. But anyway, here's the fruit bat pattern. All you do is you click A and you display right there. So it will automatically show up on this mannequin and uh, it's pretty high quality. I like it. Uh, so it'll show up like this, sort of like a tank top and then it's up to you to push it in between trees. And I would say like two fruit trees pushed together gives it that uh, perfect illusion. And I don't know, it's something at night that someone walking around your island is definitely not expecting. So let me know what you think of this bat. Maybe it'll fly away and suck everyone's blood, but there you go. It's a fruit bat and it's pretty cute. All right guys, so the very next thing might be my favorite Halloween decoration so far. It looks official. It looks like it's in this game. And of course, we don't have the Jack items yet. We don't have Nintendo official Halloween decorations, but this might be the next best thing. So walking over here, this is a thing of beauty. This is a Jack-o-lantern, lantern. Jack-o-lantern, lantern. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so all it is, is this item is called a paper lantern. So you can find this, I found mine in Nook's Cranny and then I just ordered a bunch because they're already cataloged in my system. So I ordered, I think 20 to 30 or, you know, probably an embarrassing amount that I don't want to admit on this video. But all you do for this, I'll put the pattern on the screen, but here's the thing. I don't think you should use this pattern. I think it might be a little bit more fun to create your own pumpkin face. So... Essentially, you can make your own. It's a plain orange background, and then all you do is fill in the details, the little black eyes, the nose, the mouth. You can make it look scary. You can make it look a little on the dumb side. Uh, you can make it look funny. So this would be a cool pattern uh, if you have kids or anything like that to make. And then you just customize the paper lantern, and you can actually customize the back panel on here. So it'll look like this during the day, uh, but of course you can keep it lit, but it won't be as striking during the day. And I think it just looks good. And look at this. I don't know if you can see this little detail here, but like you see the little glow and the little flicker. That's beautiful to me. <laughs> okay. So this is the unofficial official decoration, uh, for Halloween in the game. Now I, I just kind of want to show you that I've put this in a uh, interesting way. So I put a couple outside of my house that looks beautiful at night. And I've actually put these lanterns outside of every single villager's house that I have. So look at this. I put them in these similar spots. So we have one outside of everyone's house. And I just think at night especially, it's it's a work of art. I love it. And it might be my favorite Halloween decoration. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And uh, let's get to the next one, which will be right over here, by the way. And again, this is a pro pattern, so it won't be taking up any of your precious design space. I'll put it on the screen for you. This one is called the Pumpkin Candy Bowl. And this is a beautiful thing. Okay, let's display here. Now, it'll display as sort of this uh, brimmed hat, so you just want to turn this all the way until it is facing kind of downwards. So this is what the candy bowl will look like. Super cute for Halloween. Of course, we need the candy. So uh, let's zoom in on this. And usually with these pro designs, oftentimes we're trying to hide the black stand. But in this case, it's natural. It feels like this candy bowl is supposed to be supported by this black stand. So I say embrace it. I wouldn't even try to cover it up. You can put it outside of every villager's house, certain villager's house. Uh, it looks really cool. And especially for Halloween, with, uh, we can only assume the villagers are going to dress up in their cute little costumes. It's a very nice touch. And again, has that sort of jack-o'-lantern face. It's a thing of beauty. And, uh, let me know what you think. We have a candy bowl jack-o'-lantern design. Oh my god, this is great.
Okay, so now the maybe the best I say the best for last guys. This is oh my god This makes me so happy. Okay, so obviously we're outside of nooks cranny and again I've continued the uh, the jack-o-lantern lantern theme I just put two out here with some black flowers black and orange flowers for Halloween now Of course the uh, the nooks cranny is going to get a Halloween makeover so that little life preserver will go the, the shell banner will go, the seagulls in the window will go in favor of pumpkins and things like that. I don't think it's a spoiler at this point. It's kind of just, it's expected. However, Able Sisters does not change. It doesn't really get the Halloween treatment. At least, I don't think it does. Uh, so I had to take it upon myself to kind of update Able Sisters and uh, definitely give it the Halloween flair that I'm looking for. So if you guys watched my previous videos, I actually recreated a kickstand so I had like bags out there. It looked exact, but now since it's Halloween, I figured I would put a pop-up shop of maybe the greatest store in the world, okay? We made a pop-up Spirit Halloween costume shop right outside of Able Sisters. I am in love. So I'm gonna break down how I did this. So this sign right here is just a customized wood sign with this pattern which is a Spirit Halloween logo. You can also use AC patterns and make your own QR code of the official Spirit logo, but I think this is a pretty high quality sign and it gets the point across. I think it's pretty cute. Uh, now, everything that the costumes and the, the masks are sitting on is, is a Halloween quilt, a thing of beauty, especially for the fall. We're now transitioning from blankets to quilts. So this Halloween quilt, which is on the screen for you, uh, is uh, really just a great looking Halloween pattern. So uh, this is a four square quilt pattern. So I've just, this uh, this blanket right here is three by three. So there's nine total squares. And then on the end, I just have a fringe pattern, which in previous videos, I've mentioned this, but I feel like it doesn't hurt to mention this again. I feel like everyone should have a, you know, generic fringe pattern that you know, they can use for all of their blankets. It really does save a lot of design spots. Uh, so I just did a white, like fringy, lacy sort of uh, fringe on the end. So I have this one, I've had this one for quite some time, uh, but I would say go with neutral colors. So if you have white, brown, black, something like that, and I use this for a bunch of my quilts. I have four quilts here. They all look good with the fringes. Of course, quilts, you don't need fringes, uh, but just having neutral fringe, it'll save you a lot of patterns. But going back to this Spirit Halloween uh, pop-up shop, we have the wacky costumes that we've accumulated. We have the mummy mask, which I love so much. We have the skeleton mask, the football helmet. It's really fun because all of these crazy outfits that you guys have been buying or have been seeing, you can kind of display them and it makes sense. Like for example, this fire, this fire uh, fireman outfit. Kind of weird to just wear, you know, in your town, but it looks cool because it can be used as a costume. Also this uh, Jester costume back here. We have crazy things like uh, the space boots and things like that. We have the vampire costume uh, front and center. So I really like this. I like it quite a bit. I decided to put a, uh, a lantern here instead of the, the pumpkin lantern because I think the pumpkin lantern is a bit too tall for this display but I love the regular lantern. So here you go, guys. A little idea to spice up your Able Sisters. You don't have to do this exact thing. Like if you wanna just put a bunch of stalls outside of your Able Sisters and display a few costumes, that could be cool too. I just think that this is very fitting for the Halloween season and uh, it's just really fun to do. Go in your closet, pick out your crazy outfits and display them for Halloween, I think is the best thing. Now, before we go, I just want to do a little, little other tip. You might be saying, Pat, I don't know if I want to commit those patterns and just have one or two ideas from them, but here you go. Here's the last thing that I'll say. So let's customize something. And of course we are going back to the old reliable cushion and you can use some of these patterns today to make Halloween pillows. So we have a spirit pillow here. We have a uh, dark void pillow here. This is probably my favorite one the Halloween quilt pillow. Looks absolutely amazing. You could put that inside. And then, of course, the jack-o'-lantern pillow. So very versatile. These patterns can be used on a lot of things. Also, there are some items like the paper lantern where you can customize a little part of it. 
So they will look good uh, and you can kind of use those patterns in more ways because you can do jack-o'-lantern anything and it will be fantastic. But there you go guys. I think I'm finally done with the Halloween designs, at least for today. This series will most likely continue as I find more and exciting Halloween patterns. Let me know guys in the comments section, what was your favorite idea today? Was it the lamps? Was it the spirit shop? Was it the bat? Do we, did, we didn't forget about the bat guys. The bat is a thing of beauty. Thank you again guys. And I'll see you in the next video and happy early Halloween. I know it's what, it's August 27th. Oh man, we're starting early today, but happy Halloween guys. All right, bye. <laughs>